What's up? Are you ready to go to London? <laughs> Let's get out of this fucking rain. <laughs> well, here we are again. It's Spike After Dark, week two. Wow, unbelievable. I cannot believe I've made week two. <laughs> so, today we are playing a little game called Midtown Madness 2. Never gonna give you up! Hello! <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Um, and, uh, yeah, today we're gonna be looking at a, an old PC classic that I never played back in the day, but um, many people did. And I think it's quite a beloved game, as is the first one and the third one. So we're gonna see um, exactly how good it is um, in one idiot's opinion. And, <laughs> and we're also, before we do that, we're gonna have a, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did um, during this week. So um, I put all my VODs up on the YouTube, as it was. Um, I, the, um, the link is uh, down below. And um, as I was doing this, I, because I'm such a Twitch newbie, I sort of um, encountered the legendary muted audio problem. And um, because of this, I... Uh, had to do a little retake of the first, I think, two minutes of the first stream, um, and uh, I, <laughs> I, I did a did another re-recording of the uh, of the audio just to, just to fill the time, you know, figuring, ah, oh, well, you know, I can do it. It won't take a minute, so I did a take. Yeah, yeah, the intros did indeed get muted, so I did I did a quick take, just threw it in for uh, it won't be noticeable, and then. You know, I matched the tone of voice, I did the best I could in that regard, and then I listened to it back, and uh, it basically sounded like this. Okay, so uh, this is uh, this is the pool room, uh, the pool hall that we're going to be um, renovating, and oh well, this is the pool hall, and we're going to be renovating it. It was like, <laughs> it was two opposites, because of course, when I'm recording in the middle of wage slaving in an average week, I have no soul. <laughs> My soul does not come to me until Friday evening um, at this exact moment. <laughs> so um, that is where we are now. I'm feeling pretty good and we're going to play an old game just like always. <laughs> now let us jump over and uh, hope that my PC will play ball with this thing because this game it is uh, pretty old and pretty temperamental in regards to running on modern hardware of course like all old 3D games are. I had to run it for a, a sort of wrapper deal and all that so we'll see how we go. Let's step over right now. <laughs> Oh, here I am, let me just turn around. Wow, there we go. And down. Just make myself a little smaller here. Cool, cool. Alright, so, let's see. We should be able to get the little window to pop up here. There we go. At the moment, it's not full size, but it will be. The temperamental thing about this game is that it runs in two different resolutions. One is for the menus, and the other one is for the gameplay. <laughs> uh, because obviously, they didn't have streaming in mind when they invented this game. <laughs> so, um, the window is going to get a little smaller um, during options and navigating the menus, and it's going to get bigger during an actual race. But uh, I'll just put the sound back on here. That uh, should be okay. Okay, so, I've played a little bit of this just to get the controls down and everything. Hello, Lapis, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm just setting things up here. Don't mind the small screen, it will get bigger. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Let's make a new account as we're uh, right here. Yeah, good to hear, good to hear. Excellent, man. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, do I go for amateur? It's my first time playing, really, so I think I do. <laughs> uh, but just for now, we'll be a professional at every game eventually. <laughs> at least I want to be. <laughs> Let's see. So we got this set up. Um, so this game has something called Crash Course, which is kind of a story mode sort of deal. And also kind of a lesson mode where it just has you do certain challenges. And um, it also has races, which is more the um, the core gameplay experience. So just to give a little preview of this, let's just go to a, a little cruise here. Uh, we'll, we'll drive around London and we'll do noon and clear. Sure. Uh, let's lower the cop density a little bit. So all these options obviously determine... Um, how screwed you are, <laughs> how much you're likely to hit a person, hit a car, or run into a cop. So, let's go. So you see the choice of cars here. Uh, go for the Mini Cooper for now. I'll I'll go for the uh, the Choro Q mobile and go for blue. <laughs> now um, the screen uh, gets bigger at this point and actually fills my little overlay here, as it's meant to. So um, that will just happen during the options. <laughs> They have a very tasteful voice over here for <laughs> some woman. <laughs> some Brit they found, I guess. So as you can see, this is kind of a sandbox deal. Um, just drive around. Uh, this ha this cruise mode has no particular challenge. Um, it's just about, you know, um, wreaking havoc, I suppose. <laughs> so you can drive around a little. Yeah, it really does run it. <laughs> As you can see, um, as this is pre-GTA 3 and the standards weren't really set yet, the cops really did just come after me for driving on the pavement. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, this is the British police. <laughs> they take things very seriously. <laughs> but yes, there'll be, there'll be a little bit of resolution switching as we go. <laughs> I can I can probably out <laughs> the Rosas exactly. <laughs> we can probably outrun them. Oh no, we can uh, we uh, undershot that once. <laughs> I love the pedestrians getting up against the wall. <laughs> they know my reputation. <laughs> They've seen my last few playthroughs. <laughs> you don't have to get anywhere near them. Like the second they see you, <laughs> getting the hell out of here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're very determined uh, to catch me here. This is uh, only the best uh, <laughs> pedestrian models that... Uh, uh, was it 2000, I think this came out? Only the best that the PC Master Race could provide. The cops like to ride in style, you know? I, I can confirm this is not accurate to uh, actual British police. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one in a Mustang. But... um. Yeah, this game has uh, two locales. It has um, San Francisco and London, and this is of course the London course. Okay, I think I think I've lost him, so we can go back to cruising now. <laughs> that guy was not happy about me stopping there, as you can see. Let me just—you uh, <laughs> can approach pedestrians very slowly, and they still run for the hills. <laughs> I love the little fake out they do. It's just great. <laughs> Everyone's got it. <laughs> they definitely need a ciggy. They need to calm down. The pedestrians around here are very tense. They see this smoking car and they <laughs> they know that danger is lurking. <laughs> but yes, you can actually hit a person. See? <laughs> they, they do into a proper ragdoll mold for the time. It is uh, very Half-Life-esque. <laughs> oh dear, there they go, yep. And yeah, you've got the classic red phone box here, which of course you can sense hurdling down the road. The classic red buses, yeah, it's all it's all pretty accurate, I'd say. A little compressed, a little condensed, but yeah, this is, uh, this is London, sure. The game does have audio, but not much. <laughs> Let me see if I can put my output up a little bit and you may be able to hear a little bit more. <laughs> Let's see here. 
That should do it. So let me know if you're hearing the audio now. I think you should be. <laughs> but there isn't much to hear. It's just engine sounds and people screaming. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Lapis. Thank you. <laughs> this game is very temperamental. I mean, that was something that I uh, encountered uh, as I was testing it as well. The audio needs to be set quite high to pick up, um, to be picked up. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to where people jump. Like, that guy just jumped into the middle of the road. Like, he'd rather be killed by that Ferrari than me. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's enough of the cruise mode. Let's get to the lesson mode and see if we have what it takes. <laughs> and there is the resolution change. <laughs> Should be able to hear the cool menu music now. All right, so here we are, crash course. So you've just been fired from your job as a telephone psychic. Too bad you didn't see that one coming. Fortunately, your rich uncle Donald is willing to help you find a new line of work. He's lined up two options for you. East End Cab Company School of Driving. Learn unusual cab driving te uh, secrets from the legendary Joe Rook. And Golden Gate Stunt Driving School. Want to be in pictures? Then buckle up and learn to be a stunt driver. So, we're going to go for London Cabbie first, of course. See what this guy has for me. Let's see. So, you got lessons here. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, we'll start with London Leap. Um, course curriculum. Okay. So, you get a pass or a fail. <laughs> and you get a final exam at the end. <laughs> Oh man, this is not going to look like an actual driving school, I have a feeling. <laughs> uh, let's click Go Drive. Yep, and here we go again. Back to the regular resolution. This skill involves a little display of aeronautic acuity. <laughs> Meaning, you've got a jump. Ohio, do a power roll. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a, this is only my first lesson, so maybe barrel roll will come later. I can only hope. I do have a controller for this one, so I am prepared to press Z or R twice if needed. <laughs> oh, the jump, the jump! Ah, yes, yes, good, good. Thank you for thank you for your patience, Shania. Uh, unfortunately, I failed that jump. <laughs> He's gonna make me do it again, I think. <laughs> oh yo, oh yo! <laughs> that sounds like uh, you have the, the guy I'd be uh, running over who would shout at me. Oh yo! <laughs> okay, here we go again. We are gonna do this jump. Perfect. We are ready. I liked how they've uh, they've seemingly cleared the road of any pedestrians. No, no. <laughs> They would never do such a thing. In 2000? No way. Ah, oh, not again. Okay, you might be letting me have it. Oh, no. Run out of time. I gotta stop swerving to the left here. <laughs> this is a uh, extreme driving school lesson. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is lesson one. He hasn't even told me how to use the clutch pedal yet. <laughs> but it's time to do that fucking jump. And we're going to do it. Let's go. Right, we've got to stay nice and tight in the middle here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good time, good time. Yeah. You're a real fly, you are. A regular little birdie. <laughs> what? I am a regular little birdie. Confirmed. Okay, there is lesson one. Let's do lesson two. If if less if lesson one was a fucking jump, then I can only imagine what comes next. Maybe he'll maybe he'll teach me how to parallel park. <laughs> Are your nerves rested and calm? Okay. Okay. Let's give it a whirl then. Got to maintain forty through these checkpoints here. Okay, lots of checkpoints I can see on the map. Okay, this is the minimum speed. This is forty. I've got to maintain this shit. Okay, I've got to turn. All right, all right. 
Oh, 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 I missed him. Oh, he was... <laughs> um, this is before the days that uh, Crazy Taxi perfected the um, <laughs> that arrow. <laughs> this arrow is very delayed, but you just got to deal with it. The speedometer, well, if you wanna know I guess we don't need it. Going, press H to show the speedometer. Oh, I got to press H, actually. He just told me. There it is. Wow. You'd expect that kind of thing to be a default feature, but maybe not. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Into the bin. A bit carrot cakey. Oh, dude. So you'll speed it up here, reach the necessary... The Cockney rhyming song is out. ...maintain it through the turns until the final checkpoint, and do it all in good time. <laughs> is, this how, is this really how we sound? <laughs> no! Alright, I'm still maintaining it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, that's the turn, that's the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be ready for that. All right, we're not gonna oh, fade at level two. Okay, let's give it a whirl then. Gotta give it a whirl. This must be some kind of um, national event as they've put up banners for me and everything. At <laughs> oh, that time, I brake too much and uh, lost the minimum speed. <laughs> If you want to know how fast oh, dude. Going, press H to show the speedometer. It's only a little London cab. You gotta you gotta be reasonable here. A little London cab with a mirror texture, you know. Alright, here's one. There we go. Little drift. All good, all good. And here's the next one. Can I hit that? Yep. It let me off and hit the hit the bin. Uh, uh, okay, uh, don't stop, don't stop. Okay, we're still going. We're still in this. All right, very good. Do a little drifter. All right, still in it, still in it. <laughs> oh no, another turn. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> These really do sneak up on you. <laughs> that lamppost is just falling over and over and over. It must be very bouncy. So you'll speed it up here, reach the necessary velocity. So far, pretty tough. It through the turns until the final checkpoint. Um, Do it all in yeah, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little twitchy. Um, I don't know if it's any better on mouse and keyboard. I wouldn't imagine so. <laughs> okay, you gotta, you gotta be ready for these turns real early. Like it's kind of a trial and error thing here. The arrow does not move fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, as you can see, the drifting is very sensitive as well. <laughs> I went all the way around. How fast you going? Press H to show the speedometer. Oh boy, lesson two. Here we go. <laughs> Will I make it to lesson three in this one stream? <laughs> you blew it. I would be very disheartened if my uh, driving instructor was talking to me like this. That was a bit current cakey, wasn't it? <laughs> By which I mean shaky. Try it again. You shit, mate. <laughs> Are your nerves rested and calm? Okay. You look fucking nervous. <laughs> oh my god. They uh they shelled out all the money for the, for very good narrators. But uh, I wish they'd put a bit more into the uh, <laughs> drifting budget. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Uh, we, yep, we we're okay. <laughs> Somehow it let us have that. Okay, knock over a bin. Who cares? Public enemy number one. Ah! Oh, he didn't let me have it. Yes, very much like speed. Oh my god. <laughs> if you want to know how fast you're going, press H to show the speedometer. Considering the amount of things I'm hitting, I'd, I'd say he's going pr he's uh, he's pretty calm, you know. <laughs> but he could also be a little kinder. I am just starting out like 
How about showing me how to, uh, how to park? Ah, <laughs> oh, got the corner. Come on, use your loaf! <laughs> right, so you'll speed it up here, reach the necessary velocity, and maintain it through the turns until the final checkpoint, and do it all in good time. Okay, here we go, here we go. There are other modes to this game if uh, taking lessons doesn't really pan out, but I'm hoping I can uh, get through this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yep, knock that over. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no, there it is! Oh, every time! By which I mean shaky. Right again. Come on, you drivers! Rested in calm. Okay, let's give it a whirl then. Okay, I'm trying to uh, rest and calm my nerves and and do this effortlessly. Effort effortlessly. <laughs> oh, I just can't. I'm so nervous. <laughs> this this uh these corners, dude. <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't maintain it. Oh, uh, okay. If you want to know how fast you're going, press I've got all these checkpoints. To show the speed on <laughs> Am I spike beat that fucking course? <laughs> be, uh, maybe this would be easier on like manual or something because I am. A, this game does start on auto automatically, um, by default. That is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Every time I break, I seem to lose a lot of speed, and of course, I hit things, so that doesn't help. <laughs> uh, uh, ah. You missed it. Come on, use your load. <laughs> he finds another way to say "come on" every time. You got to do it. Right. So you'll speed it up here. I wonder if this guy was actually British. It's not bad. I've heard worse. Until the final checkpoint, and do it all in good time. All right, do it all in good time. And a little drift. Okay, here's the next turn. Gotta know they're coming. Alright, here's the next turn. And here's the next turn. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you blew it. I did press brake in my defense, but it takes a little while for it to register. If you want to know how fast <laughs> you're going, press H to show the speedometer. Let's do this shit. I'm starting to memorize it, so I don't think it'll be much longer. Oh boy. No, you didn't make it. it won't be that time though. <laughs> I got noped. Right, so you'll speed it up here, reach the necessary velocity, and maintain it through the turns until the final checkpoint. And do it all in good time. Wonder if you can skip lessons. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've got a, ma a note from my mom. Uh, I don't know if I can do this one. I get a uh, car sick. <laughs> I may just uh, see what's ahead if I can't do this one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I can't fall down so easily. <laughs> that guy went over so so easily. Are your nerves rested in calm? I hope there wasn't a person in there. Time to maintain 40. So something I <clears throat> something I found out about this game as I was looking it up before this stream was that um, the developers of this one went on to make the um, Midnight Club series, which um, I have quite a bit of experience with. I do, I did like it a lot, <laughs> and uh, back in the day. And this kind of um, is the <laughs> this I suppose is the origin of all that. These little challenges you have to do and the kind of sandbox style. And you know, since it's uh, since a lot of those guys ended up joining Rockstar, it um, sort of segues into GTA 3 and all that as well. Um, so, you know, early sandbox days here. <laughs> but you can tell how early it is because <laughs> there are telltale signs like uh, those cars. That was a bit carrot cakey, wasn't it? That was carrot cakey. I, uh, I need to keep memorising these turns. Right. So you'll speed it up here, reach the necessary velocity. And if there is a person in these the parked cars, the they must be so tiny. Do it all in good time. Then again, I don't know how much this uh, taxi weighs here. This does look pretty old, so he could be uh, could be 
pretty heavy. I mean, he can knock a phone box straight out, so that's something. Oh, he's not going to let me have it. Okay. One more try for this lesson. If you want to know how fast <laughs> you're going, press H to show There is also the uh, stunt school, which might be easier. Though that's saying something. I mean, driving a driving a cab should be easy. <laughs> I haven't even picked up a person. Like, what what part of driving a cab is this relevant to? Oh oh, all right, we're back. Oh, every time I slow down, I get like a mini heart attack that he's going to disqualify me for going too slow. Yeah, that sounds about right to me. You have to put up with a lot of shit in London, so you got to have the double reinforced cabs. <laughs> oh, that's just cheeky. Okay, it's let me it's let me continue. All right. Do you see how slow that thing was to change? Like Jesus. Oh. Oh. Ah! That was a oh. Cake, wasn't it? <laughs> By which I mean shaky. Try again. You get literally no advance warning as to the turn. It's just like <laughs> it changes instantly. You know how the crazy taxi arrow or the Simpsons hit and run arrow or any arrow in any driving game has that thing where you see it curve slightly. You know, you see, oh well. I'm starting to, uh, it's starting to suggest that I turn left. This has nothing. It just fucking, <laughs> right. it's like so one image to another. It flips straight to left. Oh, I gotta try one more time. I got close that time. I gotta do it. Okay. All right, all right. Keep it going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the other lessons. Or I may be here all day. <laughs> Back to school. <laughs> well, at least I did lesson one. <laughs> so that was the cutting corners. Okay, it, it is letting me skip it. So let me go to the weaver's tale. I'm guessing that's weaving in and out of traffic, so to speak. Let's see what this has for us. Okay, so... Uh, da -da -da. Interesting. The object is to get to the last checkpoint without hitting any obstacles. Oh, and you have to do it before the clock strikes zero. Oh boy, here we go. Oh jeez. I think I maybe have to use a bit of break here. <laughs> Does it disqualify me for good weaving, eh? Okay. That was ugly. <laughs> the time limit is strict. Okay, I got to use lots of brake here. This skill is Twelve seconds stronger. is what I get. It's a bit like what them skiers do over there on the continent. Problem is the brake is not the most responsive thing in the world. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> almost went into the Thames there. Okay. The object is to get to the last ah boy hitting any obstacle. <laughs> you can actually see, uh, you can see the, uh, is that Big Ben in the background there, a little shadow? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Making a sandwich of these guys. <laughs> yeah. That's the, <laughs> you can see the low poly houses of parliament in the background. <laughs> Everything's low poly. <laughs> Big bong. <laughs> That's right. Okay, 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 okay. No, no. Every time I break, it does this shit. <laughs> I'm thinking no break. Let's just use lots of accelerator and slightly shift left and right. <laughs> you can hear some truck very angry at me. It doesn't seem to actually disqualify me, disqualify, disqualify me for uh, hitting obstacles, but it does slow you down a lot, unfortunately. Oh, 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 ah, it was right there. All the slalom skill of a great war tank. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, man, more people insulting me. <laughs> Just what I need. <laughs> Every video game I play. And it's good practice for weaving your bit of magic through the crowded streets of the city. My bit of magic. Here we go. Oh, jeez. No, I lose too much time from that. That 
was ugly. That was ugly. All right, we're going to restart. The object is to going to do to this. Last checkpoint without hitting any obstacles. Oh, and you have to do it before the clock strikes zero. Oh, just a uh, just a little nudge there, no big deal. Oh, yeah. Even in me prime. I have I have uh, won the uh, cab senpai's approval. <laughs> Driver two, yes, yes. That's exactly what I was thinking. So um, I played Driver and Driver two back in the day, and they um, again were very early examples of the the sandbox style, and Driver two especially. Like that one was. It felt so advanced back in the day to be able to get out of the car, you know? <laughs> back when that was a novel concept. And, uh, yeah, this is, um, this is definitely that point where everybody was, like, rushing to create, to create GTA 3, essentially. Like, they were all kind of, um, gunning for the same thing um, for a little while. And, yeah, driver games were so much fun, for sure. Um... I just remember like <laughs> failing the mission so often though. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that uh Driver 3 couldn't continue the same momentum. Um but uh it wasn't to be. The knowledge is the next one. We'll all just pretend cutting corners never happened. <laughs> We'll see if we can get maybe half a license for driving a cab. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to play the driver games on stream at some point. So those are I really haven't played them um, at any length of time since they since they came out. Um, it's time for the so they're really challenge. they're not ones that I see re-released or anything like that. Yeah, it was terrible, but it's like. It was terrible, but it was terrible because it was rushed. It had some good ideas, I think. Royal Albert Hall. And it, you know, it was... In some ways, it was an impressive game. Like, it certainly, um... Certainly had, like, good ideas as, as far as the story goes and everything. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You can definitely get, um, get some fun out of it. And I did, but... I remember at the time, I think it was probably about... 2003, 2004, that kind of time. I bought the PC version and I couldn't get it to run for the life of me. Like it was just, um, even just to get it to boot was a, a real challenge. And I don't know why it was, because I had a basically a basically a brand new PC at the time. It only got the PC like the year before, and um, I just could never get it to run. I'd, I'd install like um, all the different you know no CD patches I could find and all the different bug fixes and just never fucking ran. And then eventually I gave up and bought like the PS2 version, and then. Um, I played it on that, and after all that shit, it wasn't even very good. <laughs> but again, you can have fun with it. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I definitely wouldn't skip out on Driver 3 if I, if I did all the Driver games. I'd, I'd hit that one, for sure, and I'd probably have a lot of fun with it. What did this guy even ask me to do? I'm just driving around aimlessly here. <laughs> I may have to listen to his instructions again. All that talk of Driver just distracted me. <laughs> Let's knock down a few phone boxes in the meantime. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't need these anymore. You not got your mobile. Come on. <laughs> as a uh, as a Brit, I can confirm there are almost no phone boxes in the wild anymore. It is like seeing Bigfoot at this point. <laughs> you still see the occasional one, but my god, it is rare. Okay, now let me li let me listen to this guy's instructions, because um, surely. For the London map challenge, first and foremost, a London cabbie has to know the city. Okay. The knowledge, we call it. We're going to test yours here. Going to test my knowledge? Doing what? Okay, he's going to give me missions, right, or something. Royal Albert Hall. Okay. Is it on the map? Uh, am I just supposed to know? <laughs> no, don't go in there. Alright, alright. Oh, that's a nice boat. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. There isn't. There doesn't appear to be anything marked on the map. Um, unless I'm missing it. Let me just go up. Maybe maybe it's uh, just not showing up for me right now. Oh shit. Okay, we got a minute and thirteen seconds, so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> yeah. Well, he must be assuming I'm a local and can just uh, can just drive there. I mean, I am. A, I'm a cabbie, so. If it were real, then that is probably what would happen. <laughs> he would just assume I knew. Of course, 2000 is uh, before the sat-nav reached uh, popularity, the GPS. So, you know, I, I just got to know the streets at the back of my hand. It's that simple. Ah, oh, poor postbox. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm still not seeing anything on the map. Um, there is a big map, I believe. What was it? G? M? One of these keys um, brings up a big map. Here we go. Um, tab. Oh, okay. <laughs> this doesn't really... Okay, I'm going to assume it's that yellow thing there. That yellow ring. Um, so let's start this one again and uh, I'll follow it. Of course, that could be anything. <laughs> it's time for the London map challenge. First and foremost, a London cabbie has been... Okay, get rid of that. The Norwich, we call it. We're going to test yours here. We'll bring the map back up when we need it. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, let's turn around. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, it's up here. And uh, go left. All right. Oh. Okay, and go left again. Turn. Okay, it's got to be that, surely. I've got a minute and 30 seconds. I think that's just about enough time if I speed. Ah! <laughs> Somebody's living there. Somebody just got a very big fright. <laughs> uh, okay, this way. I think we got enough time. Though he may have more um, destinations for us after this. I think it's very likely. Okay, 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 okay. Buckingham Palace. <laughs> he sounded very strange when he said that. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. <laughs> he, he needs to. He needs to take a shit in the royal loo. <laughs> but a, a very, uh, very noble idea, I would say. But why, why even go to the loo? Why not just do it in the carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking palace! Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, are we going to make it 15 seconds? Fucking palace. <laughs> I'm actually taken into a strip club. <laughs> but I, I, obviously I'm getting confused and I'm taking him to see the royal family. Not the lack thereof. Oh my god, okay. I think we can I think we can do that one. Um, let me just uh, try that one more time. <laughs> it's time for the London map challenge. First and foremost, a London cabby has Alright, so city. tactical Norwich use of the map here is uh, is essential. <laughs> yeah, listen out for when he says uh Fuckingham Palace again. <laughs> I wonder I will be. How did the uh, how did he slip that one through the uh, ESRB? I wonder. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, a little bit of wanton destruction, no problem. Oh, come on, <laughs> he reverses so slowly. This big bulky vehicle must weigh like two tons. I think I think it gives me a, a fresh um, start with the time um, each mission I do. I thankfully I think so. Hopefully I'll still have enough time to go to fucking Palace after I go to <laughs> this first one. Okay, nice. 
Oh my, <laughs> my car's a little beat up here. <laughs> yep, I hear it. <laughs> he sounds so constipated. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to drive through the park for this bit. Why not? Uh, if I can keep my tyre straight. Okay, we're not far. We're not far. 20 seconds. Here it is. What next, sir? Uh... Admiralty Arch. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a tricky town, old oh. Go again. <laughs> he didn't give me much time for that one, so uh, <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's how the arch goes. All right, one more try for this one, certainly. A Let's see what we can do. To know the, city. the knowledge. We're going to test yours here. The knowledge. He's given us the knowledge, which is uh, how to get <laughs> how to go the complete opposite direction of where you're going, I guess. Also, there's no traffic as well. There's no traffic. There's no pedestrians. Like, he's making this very easy for me. But um, <laughs> I'm still having problems. <laughs> okay, nice and fast. There we go. I think we can do this one. Wah! All right. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Let's go. Of course, the, uh, the map on the bottom is inverted as well, which is fucking with me a little bit. So I gotta go left in real life to go, um, or rather, left in the game to go um, real uh, to go uh, right on the map. <laughs> um, but I'm getting used to it. This one doesn't even uh, give you the liberty of the arrow, um, the courtesy rather. It just uh, just dumps you right in there. Gotta follow this mini map as best you can. Amrilty Arch. Amrilty Arch. Okay, I don't get much time on this one. Oh god, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> like I was just talking about, I uh, I try to follow this map like a, a traditional, you know, 2021 uh, in-game map and just end up going the wrong way. <laughs> Gotta invert that shit. Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Trafalgar Square. Oh, come on, get out. Alright, we're good. Okay, okay, skip through here. Yep, there it is. Surely I can make it. Let's do a little jump here. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I tried to do a crazy taxi maneuver there and <laughs> do a drift into a jump. And <laughs> of course it didn't work. <laughs> I just Time fucking crashed and burned in the corner. This is, uh, evidently this is not burnout. <laughs> you got to keep your stu stunts pretty reasonable. Next time I'm just going to do a nice simple jump and hopefully make it. <laughs> Though I thought going straight there would be a bit of a, a challenge time-wise. So, But yeah, I think... I think we can beat this lesson for sure. That must have been close to the last checkpoint. It must have been. Okay, yeah, fuck your phone. All right. <laughs> there it is. Let's go. And let's go left, of course. Yeah, as I mentioned on the uh, stream the other day, I played this one. I played a demo of the first game back in school. It was one of those fucking floppy disks or <laughs> whatever floating around. And I, I don't think it was... Um, I'm pretty sure it was just a demo. Um, and it ran at like 10 FPS because, of course, school computers didn't have any kind of 3D acceleration. <laughs> but I still had fun. And um, by the time I actually got a PC, I think it was uh, 2002. So I didn't... Um, by the time I, I got into it... Um, the, the time for this game had already passed unfortunately but um, it's great to finally uh, be playing it 
<laughs> um, okay. Ah. Okay, here's the arch. Trafalgar Square. And there's Trafalgar Square. Okay, we've got to find the place to turn here. Yep. Got 14 seconds. Okay, oh boy. Let's go down here. Eight seconds, seven, six. Okay, come on. Some speed, some speed. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Oh no, you didn't make it. He's right. I did not make it. I just can't give up. I've got to get the knowledge! <laughs> I can't even get half a license if I don't get the knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Yeah, back when I, uh, anyway, back when I got a PC, um, the games I, I got were mainly um, uh, budget games, <laughs> mainly on the explosive range. Which were um, mainly Sega Saturn ports, so I got like uh, I got like Sega Rally and Sega Touring Car, which were just like um, ports that came out in like 1995 on my fucking 2002 PC, <laughs> and it played th it played them okay, but I really um, <laughs> I really did not. Um, it took me a little minute to, uh, to actually find the good shit. And um, I think the most uh, recent game I had was a, a couple of uh, Dreamcast ports. Like, I think I had a uh, Virtual Tennis and stuff like that. <laughs> but um, I, if I was, uh, if I knew the good Draven games were out there, I would have got a few more of them. <laughs> okay, let's turn this way this time. Here we go. Okay, here's the arch. Okay, Trafalgar. This way. Okay, find a nice ramp. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, that was a bit too much. I overshot my, <laughs> overshot my target a little bit. Oh, but we're going to make it. We've got 18 seconds. Got loads of time. Okay, St. Paul's. Oh, fuck. Um, which, which direction is that? Uh, this way? Not really. Um, to a turn. Three seconds! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's called the knowledge, not the lack thereof. How was I meant to make that? That was insane. <laughs> look at the physics on top of the uh, on top of the car going on here. And look at the lamppost in the corner just falling over and over and over. Oh the jank. I love it. Well, it's very soulful, what can you say? It's time for the London uh, They Manchester. really tried. <laughs> and London cabbie has to know the city. The knowledge. Okay, I'm going to try this. We're going to test you just one more time and then we'll try a different lesson because there is only so many There's only so much time in a day <laughs> to be <laughs> driving around this 2-ton London cab. Let's see. I was making pretty good time last time, but then I just fucked up at the end. So I was once again um, slightly confused by the mini map. Imagine that. It wouldn't be the first time. Shadow Q was much the same. <laughs> well, I just tried to turn into that little uh, alleyway there, but that was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't think that was an actual alleyway. I think that was just a texture. <laughs> okay, fucking a palace. Let's go. Okay, again, do the left here. Oh, that's a dead end. Do the left here. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, my goodness. Not so nice. Car pile up here. Look <laughs> how low poly he is. Poor guy. Okay. I hope it gives me some extra time because that was pretty abysmal. Okay, but we are making it to Buckingham. Okay, let's just let's go around here. We don't need the rules. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, there it is. Is this a ramp we can go on? No, it's a wall. Fuck. The ramp is here. Okay, come on. Up, up, up. All right. I am, uh... I'm really a menace when it comes to knocking over these phone boxes. Okay, ten seconds. Seven. Come on. Plow through everything. Come on. Oh, my God. Ah! It's always at the exact same point. All right. Back to school with my ass. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so that was the knowledge. We do not have the knowledge. It's forbidden knowledge, as far as as far as I go. <laughs> I could not pass the... Well, I assume that was one of the last checkpoints. I don't know how many there were. The next one is round your go. And, uh... Fuck no, so let's have a look. I bet it's like a roundabout or something. This particular skill is among me favourites. It requires that rare combination of safe but speedy drive. Don't even touch another car. <laughs> That's the instruction. You get <laughs> but you get sent down for performance. Instant fail there. All right. So <laughs> look at this guy spiring along. <laughs> Almost knocked, <laughs> knocked the gate off. Oh man. Here's what you have to do. Hit all the checkpoints, go round the roundabout, and do it in okay, time okay. without hitting anything. No hitting. Okay, don't hit that guy. I will try all the lessons I can, even if I fail them. <laughs> Gotta give you the full experience here. The full jank. Okay, that's a full turn. I see it changes colour when you've got to do something drastic, so at least it's something. But I would prefer that I'm actually rotated in some kind of intuitive fashion. And another drifter. Uh, <laughs> crap driving. Now this particular skill is among me favourites. It requires that rare combination of safe. Breaking in this game is really um <laughs> really a trigger finger deal. You really don't know whether it'll work or whether it'll just send you flying in the completely wrong direction. See? <laughs> a little too much. I only tapped it there, but um, it took the whole lot. Okay, got to do the turn here. We're good, we're good. Okay. Another turn, another one. Okay, so the bit, bef the bit from before should be coming up. Alright, dump another turn. Okay. Okay. And another turn. <laughs> Come on. Where's the end? Alright, it's gonna let me drive on the grass. It's like, no! Oh, it's let me have it. Oh, that doesn't actually count as a as an object. <laughs> it's just a checkpoint. It's just a ghost, I suppose. Oh, I thought that was it for sure. Oh, come on, it's got to be over. How much more? I saw it. It's over here. Let's just drive through the park. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't drive through there. Don't do it. 41 seconds still. Okay, we've got one more here. Coming up. It's very foggy, as you can see. Making things uh, that much better for me. Okay, just about survived that. <laughs> You're round, round, round. Oh, come on, where's the end? The fuck? Um, oh, this is, we can't cross here. Shit. Okay, okay. Back, back, back. What have we got? 12 seconds. It's got to be in here, right? Where the fuck is it pointing me to go? That's a wall. In there? Oh. You drive like one of them Oxbridge types. <laughs> Well, a lovely little alarm I got going off. Oh my god, that drives you insane, for sure. Man, let me just uh, try this one more time. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it 
the sonic sound effect I think was coming from my phone in fact <laughs> I thought I muted it but uh, I guess not <laughs> here's what you have to do hit all the checkpoints go round the roundabout and do it in good time without hitting I'm sure it's nothing worthwhile <laughs> That's my little uh, text message uh, notification deal. But it's usually just my network harassing me. <laughs> oh, hey, we've got a, got a plan you might like. Perhaps you'd like to give us uh, a hundred pound a month and uh, your firstborn? No, uh, I'm happy on my current contract, thank you. Dude, why is that? Why is that noise <laughs> making... <laughs> what the fuck? I thought that was like just hitting the car at the end, but this alarm is going off all the time now. Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? I, got, I gotta stop this. <laughs> Talk about stream death. Having a listen to this shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, hopefully the sound effect will be gone by my next run. Um, <laughs> I hope. But we're, I, it's just making me extra tense, you know? Maybe I'll do it if I have the extra pressure of that fucking alarm going off. <laughs> okay, so if I remember right, there's a gate here. Yep, there's a bridge. Yep, here it is. Here's the opening. Okay, here's the foggy roundabout sort of deal. So, keep it going. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh. I lost control. Dude, this ain't stopping. Okay, let me let me exit back to school at least. Maybe it'll stop now. <laughs> Again, jank. <laughs> I don't know how these kind of things happen, but I guess they do. Okay. So that was round your go. Um, I'll give it one more go. Hopefully with no alarm. And then I'll try something else. <laughs> so far I think I'm uh, eligible for maybe one tenth of a license. Now this particular skill is among my favourites. It requires that rare combination of safe but speedy drive. I will not touch another car. I will not touch the wall. I will not touch anything. Beat me all you want. <laughs> Oi, mate, you have a license for that cab? <laughs> uh, kind of? <laughs> well, uh, officer, I uh, took the lessons. <laughs> I cannot say whether I did or did not pass the lessons, but I can assure you I did take them. <laughs> you got a license to be attempting that license, mate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Evidently not. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> head on collision with that dude. Go round the roundabout. The second. <laughs> Without Just as I'm joking about having no license, I I prove my words right there. <laughs> okay. I gotta get the license, man. I gotta get it. If I can't get a cabbie's license, how can I get my spork license? <laughs> Oh, come on, that barely counted. Oh, I just tipped a bin. <laughs> okay, I'll say back to school on this one. <laughs> we'll see how we do in the next one. <laughs> well, you see, officer, the lessons were just a bit too hard, so I uh, I slipped a 20 uh, under the instructor's hand, and, you know, I just wound up in this cab. That is the only logical explanation as to how I could actually end up driving this fucking vehicle. 
Okay, the next one is uh, follow that car. What could possibly go wrong? Probably everything. Let's have a look. You never annoying thing about this game is every time it goes onto a menu or a loading screen, I have to fucking pull the um, pull the window out of the out of the chat's way <laughs> so I can see what you guys are saying. <laughs> these uh, these old Windows games just did not have streaming in mind. <laughs> they were uh, I don't know what they had in mind really. They, this one this one in particular doesn't even have a Windows mode. I had to basically hack it in. So um, oh Jesus. Okay, so I'm chasing this guy. Is uh, is the way this is going? I actually over overshot him a bit there, so that is my bad. Follow the old jam jar. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I've never actually heard that Cockney one. Um, because <laughs> I've never had to say, "Oh, follow that car." But if you do, if you wind, if you wind up in uh, within the sound of bow bells, and you need to tell somebody to follow a car, it is jam jar. <laughs> now you know, and knowing is half the battle, as they say. Okay, I'm following him. It's happening. Where's he gone? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Fuck you, buddy. You still want me to follow him? He's <laughs> What's he doing? Is this how the AI is supposed to be driving? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay. I'll keep... Oh, come on. <laughs> this guy is a manoeuvring genius. <laughs> through this alleyway. He totally psyched me out there. I thought he'd just lost his mind. Okay, here we go. Gotta stay at a decent distance behind him so he can actually follow the dude. Blah. Okay. <laughs> Go stay on him. Oh my god. Um, you lost him again. I lost him again. This skill is one of the cab driver classics. The I don't know how many post boxes I've gone spiraling into so far. Definitely dozens. Oh, man, the dry the um the braking in this is just so OP, you know. You brake and you might as well just uh, fucking stop the car because <laughs> that's what happens. You just go sliding along. But yeah, uh, fun game. A little janky. <laughs> I'm having fun. Uh, but I am failing a lot. So, you know. It is, uh, it is what it is. Okay, do have a turn here. Oh, dude. He's doing it again. So they did actually program this. They programmed him to go slamming into that phone box and then slamming into the wall and then and then through the alleyway. It's just a psych out, you know? You think, oh, God, this guy, his fucking eyesight's gone and he's just driving into the wall. <laughs> but no, he is, uh, he is smarter than you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and this dude have eliminated all the phone boxes. That's where they went. They know they know the tourists like like them, you know. They know that the tourists are coming from far and wide to London to see the phone boxes, but it's just too damn bad because <laughs> we're taking them all out systematically one by one. And the post boxes are also bright red, so they're getting it too. <laughs> oh, I finally see a checkpoint. Could it be yeah! So that's uh, two tenths of a license. <laughs> oh boy. Get nice uh, chill elevator music here. Alright, back to school. <laughs> oh, Midtown Madness is right. I'm fucking going mad. 
That AI was going mad. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that was actually programmed into the game. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so advanced. It was like it was like another player just as bad as me was playing. <laughs> it was so bad it was good. Let's see what is next. Give me a break is next. We may not get to take the midterms and the finals, but at least we'll give everything a go. <laughs> so, if it involves breaking, it's probably going to be cancerous, it's safe to say. <laughs> so far, my breaking has not been ideal. Right then, this little skill is the ever useful reverse 180. Reverse? Uh oh. Uh, reverse 180. So this way. And then. Uh... <laughs> I would agree. That was uh, that was terrible. <laughs> You've got to think backwards this time. Okay. Get on with it. His instructions are leaving a bit to be desired here. <laughs> So I guess I'll go this way, or this way, onto the grass. Remember, get going really fast. Pull the handbrake after you start the turn, and that ought to do it. Okay, okay. So I have got a turn. I don't want to go reverse the whole time. Uh, okay, bizarre, but let's try it again. <laughs> Restart well, lesson. Going to need the old handbrake on this one. Okay, so. Press the F1 key. For a quick reminder of how to use it. I think I've got that. I've got the handbrake down. Yeah, alright, alright, there we go. I think that's the idea. Yeah. But where is the checkpoint? Okay, so I kinda did it, but <laughs> it still didn't have enough time. You've got to think backwards this time. Now get Let's try and go really fast. That is the method here. Okay, and uh, quick, quick, quick. Is it the other direction, maybe? Remember, get going uh, really fast. Pull the handbrake after you start the turn. It's fucking mini map, dude. Do <laughs> okay. This little skill is. I'll try going the other way. Reverse one eighty. Uh, That was a rather poor display of cab driving if I ever saw. Behind the big tree. Okay. Uh, let's try. You're going to need the old handbrake on this one. So press the F1 yes. key. For Thank you. Never going to give you up. Hopefully, hopefully it. that's the way. Obviously, this is a very foggy level, so <laughs> doing what I can here. Uh, that's the small tree. There's the big tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you called it. Okay, I got to go faster though. Got to do it in more of a seamless motion. Remember, you've got to, to get the next fraction of my license. Get on with it. <laughs> ah, ah, didn't quite, didn't quite work. Ah, fuck it. That was a rather poor display of cab driving, if I ever saw. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, this, this time for real. Is the ever useful reverse 180. Go, go, go! Oh, we're getting closer. I can't. It was just wrong. We're almost there. Remember, you've got to think backwards this time. Now, get on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> this guy's quite a charmer. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Getting to that one pixel difference here. <laughs> right then, this little skill is the ever useful reverse 180. Okay. Ah, I didn't do the full turn that time. I don't think it's gonna let me have it. Nope. 
At least it's just one checkpoint. If I had to do this multiple times, I would be fucked You're for sure. You're going to need the old handbrake on this one, so press the F1 key for a quick reminder of how to use it. Okay. Let's do the full turn. I'm not that full. <laughs> oh, oh, ah! going really fast, pull the handbrake after you start the turn, and that ought to do it. Yeah, I got it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you've got to think backwards this time. Now, get on with it. We are within a hair's length of the checkpoint here. Ah, uh, just can't tell how much um, brake to put on sometimes. No, try again. Couldn't even make it to the tree. Put my heart into it. Put my heart into it. All right. You're going to need the old handbrake on this one. So press the F1 key for a quick reminder of how to use it. Go, go, go! Okay, didn't lose much speed that time. Let's keep going. Oh. It was just wrong. It was just wrong. It's that simple. Remember, you've got to think backwards this time. I'll give myself two more tries. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back to this one. It feels doable. It really does, but it's just annoying. Basically, need to get that accelerator on as quickly as possible. Pull the handbrake after you start the turn, and that ought to do it. I guess I could try starting the turn a little later. This little skill hmm. is the ever useful reverse 180. Go go go! Uh. Try again. Well, this area of my license is going to have to wait. <laughs> the world's best cab driver. I think I'm going to come back to this one. I think I can do it, but let me just get a bit more experience with the controls. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure something out. Next up is river dancing. God fucking knows what this is. <laughs> They are rather difficult, and um, yeah, it's an old game, so the controls aren't ideal, you know? I think the issue with um, with this is, while you can pick a gamepad and a steering wheel and stuff like that, it all seems like it's very digital, you know? It's, all, it's obviously designed to be playable with a mouse and keyboard, and that is what we're getting here, because everything is very digital. You fucking tap brake one time and you just go sliding all over the place, you know? Um, but it is what it is. It's not impossible. I can see why people like this game. Like this game has a, a huge modding community, and you know people are still doing stuff for it. And um, you know, that's. Uh, but I think it's an acquired taste. I think you kind of maybe had to be there <laughs> um, just to get to grips with uh, exactly how jank the controls are. But uh, yeah, let's see what river dancing is. <laughs> I can only imagine. Right, uh, you look a bit pale. Been to well. <laughs> Shots fired. Okay, it's a jump. Another jump. Oh, into the castle. Okay, big jump. Oh, not into the water. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. Is this enough air? Nope. <laughs> More tea, Vicar. Well, that's that. <laughs> okay. This lesson involves a little precision jump. That's right, the precision jump. Not the long one, the precise Into one. Into the drink, that's right. Sleeping with the fishes, as they say. This will be a hell of a news story. <laughs> London cabby turns up in uh, in, the, in the sea. <laughs> he was doing a stunt course <laughs> at the behest of some insane narrator. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, but uh, strange things happen after dark. It's true. This is why you never get in an unmarked taxi. <laughs> you think they'll just, you know, take you to the 
take you to the club, take you to the bank. Nope, they'll take you into the fucking water. <laughs> okay, come on, surely. Yep, yeah, we're okay. And nice and wide. Ah, oh, <laughs> too wide. <laughs> so that one, you kind of have to do a little drift, I think. Do a little uh, angling. This lesson I'll do what I can. Precision jump. That's right. So the first the one's straight, jump. the second one's Not curved. The, long one, the precise, the precise one. one, yes, yes. God, this guy's annoying. <laughs> okay, here we go, big jump. Come on, come on, come on, stay on, stay on. There we go. Alright, so for this one, curve a bit. No, just about, just about. <laughs> I've lost time. I don't know about this. Can I build up the speed I need? <laughs> Into the lamppost. <laughs> oh, I, I was supposed to jump over that. Oh, well, so much for that idea. The precise one. As you already know, you missed. I did. I missed it. Oh boy. Here we go. Precision jumping. This one seems doable as well, um, but I think it's just a, a matter of. So there's eight checkpoints, eight jumps, presumably. It's just a matter of, I guess, knowing what's coming. Okay, nicely done. And uh, <laughs> well, at least he come, at least he floats up. Things could be worse. <laughs> a little precision jump. That's right, the precision He's ready to give it another go. The, one, the, precise, the one. precise one. He's not kidding. You have to be pretty precise with this, and unfortunately, the controls aren't as precise as I'd like. <laughs> There are options in the in the menu for um, steering sensitivity and stuff like that, but they don't actually work. <laughs> I don't know if it's just like a modern hardware thing or a modern gamepad thing, but I can't fucking do anything with them. Uh, maybe I have to like adjust values in a any file or something. I have no idea, but this is all just default essentially. And I did have to wrestle with this fucking game to get it working. For sure. At first, it was running at like one FPS because I had to run it through this uh, fuck this this uh, DG Voodoo wrapper, which um, simulates a, a, a Voodoo card from back in the day. And uh, on a regular system, this shit just barely functions at all. So it, you know, it's a miracle it functions this well on a, on a modern system. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one's done. Let's try again. If you missed that jump, that's essentially it. Uh, you look a bit pale. Been sleeping well. Nope. Okay. Maybe one more try for this. Try and keep things fresh. There's still the uh, San Francisco bit to look at. And I may, um, I may just have another crazy run around town. Okay, stay, 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 stay. All right, we're good. Oh, bye. If you hit the fucking corner there, you don't have enough speed to do this jump, and then you just wind up going in the drink. Uh, one more try. This lesson involves a I cannot resist. Precision jump. That's right, the precision jump, not the long one. But if I have to listen to this idiot tell me about the precise one one more time, oh man. <laughs> But yeah, this game has so many modes. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a fail. <laughs> it has like a, um, a kind of a. I think it might be like a cat. <laughs> well, I kinda made it. Kinda. Okay, I made half the checkpoints on that. Let's look at something else. <laughs> oh man, I'm just like falling with style here. Let's see. So here we are back in the small resolution menu. So what else we got? On races, there are some other modes. There's Blitz, um, which is 
Let me read this. It's you versus the clock. Go through the checkpoints in any order. The arrow will point towards the nearest checkpoint. So that's that. So that's like, um, if you've ever played uh, the Midnight Club games, it's just like that, essentially, where you see the checkpoints lighting up on the stage. Like That makes sense, because obviously, same developers and all that. This is go through checkpoints in any order, then beat your opponents to the finish. The arrow will point you to the nearest checkpoint, and this is finish laps as quickly as you can on charted courses through the city. So this is like a regular race. Maybe I'll do a regular race. Um, that might be fun. Okay, so you've got mini race around. View from two bridges. Um, let's try the mini race. I assume this means like uh, mini Coopers. Um, a bit of variation in the, uh, the time would be nice and the weather. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. So here we can actually select the car, which is cool. <laughs> so unlocked by default is the Mini Cooper Classic, the VW New Beetle, the London Cab, the Cadillac Eldorado, the Ford F350, the Ford Mustang GT, the Ford Mustang Cruiser. So again, the police car. <laughs> Again, like not not accurate to British police cars, but um, it's okay. Ford Mustang Fastback, Panos, Panos Roadster, the City Bus. Oh yes, look at that shit. <laughs> I like the uh, the ad for the MSN Gaming Zone. Now that's nineties. <laughs> yes, a Roadster indeed. There it is. Um, kind of a kind of a dick shape to it, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> the double decker bus, an absolute classic, of course. The uh, Freightliner Century. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's an odd one, definitely. Pretty cool car. Yeah, so we got the, uh, the the new Mini Cooper, which is locked. Um, the VW New Beetle uh, June is locked. Yeah, dick shapes are proven to go faster. Whenever I, f I think of a, a dick-shaped car, I always think of, um, in a Sonic Adventure 2, uh, Rouge the Bat's car, when you play that um, little stage, that little mini-game, her car is like the most blatant dick and two balls you've ever seen. <laughs> but it's appropriate, you know? <laughs> the VW New Beetle. <laughs> the light tactical vehicle. Okay, a little army car. Uh, the Audi, of course. The Audi, excuse me. The Aston Martin DB7 Vantage, cool, cool, or Vantage. Another Panos GTR1. So this, this has a fuckload of cars, like not bad at all for 2000. And of course, this has like loads of mods as well. So you can probably get just about any car you want um, if you if you search for it. But um, let's go with something fun. This is the mini race, so let's pick a mini. Um, the Mini makes a sidewalk into a highway, but its limited power and durability are a Mini challenge. There you go. Let's see what we got here. This is a, a race, just a standard race, I think. Should be familiar territory to me. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, I love that classic Mini Cooper. How do you <laughs> cruise along the first or fourth in one of those? <laughs> <laughs> we've got a different narrator this time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I love that Mini Cooper. <laughs> I wonder how many narrators are actually in this thing. There's, there's definitely two British ones. There's a guy and a girl. So, I guess there's also a, a hot Scott. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is easy. <laughs> I love that Mini Cooper. <laughs> Fucking, uh... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks. This guy is the polar opposite of the last narrator. He's so nice. <laughs> that was a piece of piss, and he, like, gave me so much praise for it. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do next race. Because that was easy. Surely something challenging. Okay, so wait a minute. So <laughs> those bits I were... Those lessons I were doing, they're, they're meant to tell you how to play the game, right? Like... 
Those were so much more challenging than an actual race. It's insanity. <laughs> this guy is great. <laughs> There's definitely a gap in the market for a Groundskeeper Willy VTuber. <laughs> okay, it's a bit more challenging now. This guy is actually driving. I'll give him that. Okay, he's fast. He's fast. Let's see if we can catch up. Hmm. Got a, okay, okay, we're getting there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's the checkpoint. Don't mind me, I'll just cut in. Good stuff, good stuff. Another checkpoint. Got some uh, construction going on here from the looks of it. And there's Big Bong, and there's the finish line, yeah! Oh, wait, we still got another lap, shit! <laughs> I just flew straight through those. I thought that would be like a brick wall, but they actually do have their own physics. That's pretty cool. I didn't lose much time there, despite being an idiot. We're so weird not ha not having the whole um, Big Bong experience uh, for New Year's this past year. I don't think they even... I think they they um, just about did some fireworks, but they, they sort of did it unannounced, and there were, of course there were no people there. It's very much a tradition here to just, like, watch that shit at midnight every year, and uh, I did not get to hear Big Bong this past... well, the beginning of this year, so... Has the year actually started? Like, it's a, a valid question. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> yes, indeed. R.I.P. Hopefully he'll bong again next year. Okay, music's not bad actually. I'm starting to starting to get into this jazzy stuff now. Guys, uh, <laughs> this is like that meme with the piano on fire. The guy's just going insane. <laughs> but there's not much action going on. I think I have quite a decent lead here. Uh, if I can just avoid hitting things. <laughs> I thought I had a lead. I didn't. I was on seventh. <laughs> I think what happened there is I went through the barrier and like thought, oh, uh, okay, I'll just drive back on and figured, oh, I didn't lose anybody. But no, everybody went in front of me. <laughs> well, whoops. Lesson learned, I guess. Okay, we're going to try this again. This is quite fun. These races. I do like, um, I like a game having some uh, sort of story mode elements, you know, in this case kind of a lesson mode, but this is definitely where the real game is, actually racing people. And here the AI is not as stupid as it is in the lesson mode. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh man, you have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's get a nice early lead on these guys. Hey, is this guy in the race? There's a cab here. You're not a mini. Get the hell out of here. He's, he's not a real mini, you know. He's not a Cooper. <laughs> oh, dude. Now this guy's got the lead on me on this one. Let's see how we do. Ah, one drift too many. The story of the whole game. <laughs> yeah, the two-ton cat. <laughs> Fucking pylon here. 
Oh, God almighty. <laughs> I was just talking about the AI being smart, but then, like, the second I say that, they all start hitting me. <laughs> and I'm, in, I'm completely out of the way, but they're all doing it anyway. Well, the, the cab may have the last laugh on this one. I'll try and uh, regain some uh, distance here. <laughs> there it goes. Moshi moshi. <laughs> Final lap! Oh, <laughs> we're into the barrier again. <laughs> oh fuck, this is this is a lost course. I'm ne I'm never catching these guys. <laughs> I think it's about high time to uh retry this one. <laughs> Make what? <laughs> I don't understand half of what this guy's saying, but he's awesome. <laughs> oh man, more more great AI here. <laughs> These guys, the road is nothing to them. <laughs> the guy's spinning out. The only one I have to actually worry about is the black cab. He's the only one that's actually driving sensibly. <laughs> Just try and pick up a bit of speed here. Bizarrely, the um, the game's actually gotten a little laggier since I started playing. Like, it's hard to imagine some bo some shit as old as this actually being taxing on a modern system. But um, I am running it for a rabber, so that may be the deal. Maybe just a lot of resources into actually displaying this thing. What? Open. <laughs> Fuck the barrier. Who needs it? Okay. I'm third. Um, still, still doing all right, but. It'd be nice to get in front of the two guys. If I can at least finish third, I'll be it'd be better than seventh, so I'll take it. Oh man, what is happening? <laughs> no! Oh fuck off. Not <laughs> Maybe I actually was first. Shit, I don't know. Due to the awkward way this game displays, I can't get a good a good uh, sight of the um the thing in the top right corner telling me what position I'm in. But um, whatever I am, I'm uh, in trouble. <laughs> Safe to say. Okay, okay, here's the checkpoint. The finish should be coming. Please better than seventh, come on. Finish first? Oh, that, oh I see, I see. So I am, I am last. They, I, when I was seeing the black cab, he was in fact lapping me. <laughs> oh boy, this is not my race. I think we got to try another one. I'm just, I've just done nothing but eat shit so far, but I'll finish. I'll be a good sport. It'd be nice if there was still um, a, a bit of traffic and a bit of uh, bit of pedestrians around um, during these modes, as uh, things do seem very lifeless. It is, it is. It's hard, man. Well, at least he sympathises with me. Like I said, much nicer guy than the other one. You know, you can't ask for much more. Okay, next race. <laughs> this one is the view from two bridges. Be a good sport and try not to make a mess of things, okay. especially if you're passing through Kensington or Hyde Park. Okay, so we have I the other, the, the other Londoner for this one. Nice hippie, hippie mini there. Pretty cool. Okay, okay. 
So going through the big bridge, and we've got the big jump. Nice. Oh, dude. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the mini's just not fast enough for this shit. <laughs> then again, maybe I'm just driving really poorly. <laughs> These uh, these royals in the castle must have just heard a bump and they're wondering what the fuck that was. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a tiny little mini. Okay, I'm thinking different car. <laughs> See what we can do with something else. Something a little faster. Uh, but what? But what? Okay, so let's see. So that was the Mini Cooper Classic. The roadster, maybe? Oh, dude, this guy is so fast. But his durability is like complete pants, so he may just explode if we hit something. But I want to try it. <laughs> I can't believe that you're associating with these. these yes. It seems to me that they lack the, shall we say, proper connections. We need speed, so we are going with the penis car. And hopefully he can finish nice and early. <laughs> no, don't crash! Oh, <laughs> look at that shit. Oh, for God's sake. He's, uh, he's controlling pretty well. If I can just stay on the straight and narrow here, things might be alright. Oh, jeez. Sorry, hippie. Again, the durability is not <laughs> durability is not its uh, strong point, so I should try and crash less, <laughs> ideally. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, so we're back in last place where we belong, <laughs> but we are going pretty fast. So there, oh fuck! I was about to say there's a there's a chance we can make up um, some distance here, but maybe not on this one. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, <laughs> that's a disaster. Let's try again. This guy is very loose to control, but he's not bad. The stats are correct. He really is very fast. So let's uh, try again. So we've got two two um, black cabs and two hippie vans, or hippie cabs, I guess. That is our opposition for today. So let's do what we can. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this guy, yeah. I think part of having low durability is that you don't just bounce off the wall. You, like, um, <laughs> even if it seems like it's not going to be a head-on collision, it is every time. <laughs> okay, here we are. First place. A rare moment. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> just as fleeting as, uh, as uh, <laughs> a teardrop in the rain. <laughs> A teardrop may be coming soon. <laughs> okay, no, we're, we're the good thing about Penis Car is he can make up um, some uh, some distance. He can do it fast. You just need to not hit him against the wall because he's very sensitive. Oh, do the drift. Okay, we're still in. Okay, here's the checkpoint. Again, admire the nice London scenery here. <laughs> In all its uh, single digit poly glory. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My tyres just came flying off. I heard the durability was low, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got a penalty for that. For destroying my vehicle. Uh, well, that is fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> fuck. Head the fuck out of the way, part cars. 
That's like <laughs> That's like in movies where you, you're driving down top speed and you see your own tire like fly by a fly by a winter. <laughs> I just I just saw all of the parts go in different directions. Oh my god. Penis car, dude. I'm so sorry. I worked him too hard for sure. <laughs> again. I've destroyed him again. Oh, dude. I like the speed, but I, d I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. Like, there's no chance. Oh, I made it. Okay, okay. <laughs> there is actually somebody behind me, according to the stats up top. That's incredible. I can't imagine how you could be doing worse than this. <laughs> I assume it's just a one of the AR cars re driving repeatedly into a wall. Now I'm destroying every post box because of that letter in Cod or Q the other day that I couldn't read. Frankly, I blame the entire British Postal Service, so <laughs> I'm just going to take it out on them. Oh, dude. Well, I might see what the other cars have to offer. I think I'll try this track a couple more times, but then I'll try a different race because... <laughs> I'm, uh, I've been eating shit on this one so far. Actually, what we need to look at is the um, the other story mode, the, the San Francisco Stuntman. Oh, I, I don't know if I'll be doing any better at that than the taxi driver, but I feel like I, at the very least I should give it a look. Oh, geez, so much drifting. <laughs> and have another penalty. Why not? I'll take it. Okay. People are finishing, and I'm still here. Okay, there's the checkpoint. Oh, God. <laughs> Do I have to touch it? Is it letting me through? I guess so. Oh man, I can actually go into the underground there. Maybe I should do that. Could be a shortcut. When will it end? <laughs> These cars are so light. Even the sensitive penis car is uh, sending them flying. Maybe missing that checkpoint is the whole issue here. Maybe. Uh, Oh no, it is, it is letting me finish, okay. Right? I just went through the finish line. Okay, maybe maybe I missed a checkpoint and it's disqualified me, so fuck it. <laughs> anyway, we have more lessons to take. Oh my goodness, dude. This all, all these um all these retro games uh, so far have really uh <laughs> really thrown me for a loop as far as difficulty goes. Still a fun time nonetheless, but uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the other one is. So, the other crash course. We have SF Sun Driver. Right, right, right. So, we've got training, lesson. Golden Gate Stunt Driving School. Learn to stunt drive in San Francisco through rigorous skills and development. Okay, the first one is called Frequent Flyer. And again, it's the same format as before, with midterms and finals. Um, whether I'm able to do any better, who knows? <laughs> Let's practice the long jump. Oh no. <laughs> Those aren't the words I wanted to hear. I I cannot take any more jumping. <laughs> Especially if my car implodes on impact. Okay, so this is San Francisco, allegedly. Okay, turn. Oh, there it is. 
Oh boy, I see it, I see it. I shouldn't be approaching this at an angle, should I? <laughs> no. Friends today. Yes. Okay. The movie's got a scene where the ferry is pulling off and our hero doesn't want to miss it. Okay. Got to catch the ferry. It does look quite a bit different from London, um, of course, as you'd expect. And it's got a different narrator, naturally. Oh, uh, can we do it? Not like that. Up that ramp and you'll hit that last checkpoint, okay, kid? <laughs> Bullet. <laughs> For sure. Let's practice the long jump. <laughs> it's very, uh, very Hollywood. And I suppose you're a stuntman, so it makes some sense. And I guess this is just a set that we're on. Okay, let's uh, let's go to him again. Let's try and build up lots of speed this time. Oh well, we can't build up too much because we're on limited time say once again. For me, will ya? Well, it was an idea. What can I say? <laughs> oh the boy. has got a scene where the ferry is pulling off, and our hero doesn't want to miss it. We don't want to miss the ferry. That's for sure. Man, I mean, this would have been the coolest shit to play in like 2000, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it's uh, the jankiness is uh, definitely a challenge, especially the drifting. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Uh... Straight up that ramp, and you'll hit that last checkpoint. Okay, kid. Let's practice the long jump. As soon as it, as soon as it came out of his mouth, as soon as he said long jump, I knew it would be just like this. <laughs> There's a couple other modes in this game that I might check out. Um, but uh, yeah, fuck knows if I'll even beat the first lesson of this one. Oh dude, stop drifting, please. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. We got that car off an impound lot. Oh great. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it's not valuable. Hmm. Okay, one more try. The movie's I want to see if I can at least get onto the first checkpoint. Hero doesn't want to miss it. All right. Our hero does not want to miss the SSN. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fast and straight <laughs> up that ramp. Well, You'll even if I had made it, point. he wouldn't okay, have let kid. me have it. Okay. <laughs> Back to school. What I'm going to look at now is that other mode that I spotted. Um, so there was um, the checkpoint one. I think the next one was Blitz, I think. Let's have a look at that. Okay, yes, so there's cruise, blitz, checkpoint, and circuit. Um, what's blitz? It's you versus the clock. Go through the checkpoints. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, this is the um, Midnight Club style one. So you've got a couple of races here. Ignorance is blitz, is the first one. Um, oh, I can, can I set the, no, I cannot. Uh, pedestrian, that's, yeah, so we'll see what we can do. You can actually pick a car there, so that's good. Um, the Mustang, let's see, let's see. A pickup truck, hmm, Cadillac. Maybe the Cadillac, he's got quite good stats, everything's sort of in the middle. Let's see, I see what a blitz is. The green compass arrow points to the nearest checkpoint, but you can go through the checkpoints in any order. Yep. Does mean I'm following an arrow again. Knowing you're racing that brand new Cadillac Eldorado out there just about makes me cry. <laughs> the uh, narrator is jelly. Look at this arrow. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so bizarre looking. Nice, nice. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought we just finished the stunt mission. Apparently, it's still going. Living 
Oh, it's That's letting me have it. Nice work, Caddy. I cannot believe I passed that shit. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> I did so many flips, but it's all good, I guess. Next race. So this is uh, pretty easy, but I'm sure there'll be a big spike in difficulty, just as before. You ready to roll, Blitzmaster? Oh yeah, Blitzmaster, that's me. <laughs> I love how they uh, they spawn you right on in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the road here on the wrong side with people driving towards you. <laughs> the cars are not impressed. Oh shit! Nope, that was my turning, and I missed him. Let's just go for the retro. <laughs> I can't turn around Most in the middle of the freaking motorway. I like how you're keeping your cool. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> my turn didn't quite go um didn't quite work there. Okay. I think it's a turn here. Yes. Oh, but don't crash, don't crash. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. Oh, uh, shit, shit, are we close? There's a checkpoint. Is it going to give me some more time? No. <laughs> That's it. Well, that's Blitz, as they call it. Oh, shit, is this still going? I thought time was up. What does it, what's it doing here? I oh, I see. Ever again. It lets me finish. At least for an hour that's so. nice of it. <laughs> Pretty stupid. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so that's, that's Blitz. Let's see what else we got. So there's a um, checkpoint. Go for checkpoints in any order, blah, 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 blah. I fancy doing a cruise around San Francisco. <laughs> Red lights are optional, okay. Uh, cruise, I suppose there isn't really any real objective. What's the, um, okay, so this is take it easy. Give me Soma. Well, that sounds interesting. Uh, you can pick the location here. Oh, I see. They're all... Oh, I see. Race name changes depending on the location. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So we'll go with... Um... <laughs> Gimme Soma? Sure. This is just, again, a standard race, I think. But it's something different. I like the Cadillac um, when it works. Well, when the controls work in general. <laughs> I'm sure there are um, sure there are experts at this game that know how to sort of iron out the controls and make them work a bit better. But yeah, going in um, on the default kind of st setup, it's uh, definitely quite janky. But let's see what we can do here. I've done better at the races than I have the challenges so far. Oh, dude. Again, very sensitive drifting. Okay. Let's cut a corner here. Nice. Yeah, you can definitely see the DNA of like the, the future GTA games and all that in this. Uh, the driving controls and... and um, that kind of thing, like they've all, uh, GTA driving controls have always had a bit of a reputation, and um, this is like GTA driving controls at their. At, this is like the um, <laughs> the origin, you know, <laughs> as jank as it gets. This is where it was born, and uh, you know, 
members of uh, of this team go on to join Rockstar and um, eventually, I guess, perfect their formula. <laughs> but yeah, how per how perfect it is is down to uh, down to the person playing. <laughs> I I only um, I only find like free jank. Um, I, San Andreas and um, onwards, I can play pretty easily. But yeah, they uh. They're a bit temperamental sometimes, and this is like if you were to take the um, the very DNA of it and just <laughs> start from scratch, create a clone. This is what you would get. This very sensitive shit. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, a pretty cool game for the time. Worth checking out if you can um, stomach a bit of jank. Oh, come on, <laughs> stop drifting. <laughs> Words I say a lot on this channel so far. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Big turn. Okay. Man, it is so it's foggy already, but then you've got like the the smoke from the car itself coming straight at you here. <laughs> Visibility has never been better. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, little little drift. I think we're doing okay. No, no, we're not. <laughs> Every time I say that, I you know, I have that glance in the top right corner, top left, excuse me, and um see that I'm in, I am indeed in 7th place <laughs> without even realising it but yes, not my uh, not my best performance so far but it is a cool game <laughs> maybe maybe I can get good at it with enough practice <laughs> but uh, we're not there yet I thought it would be fun to uh, stream my first time oh dude, we're, it's doing that thing again where I'm going past the finish line but it's not letting me have it where um, <laughs> I guess uh I guess I missed a checkpoint or some shit. I'm yeah, yeah. I missed one, and um, that's that's all it takes. You miss one checkpoint, and they penalise you, and you just have to drive around aimlessly. I think um, going by the mini map is it up here? Oh no no no! It's the yellow, of course, of course. Okay, so I'll at least finish this to. Uh, Show the guys that are <laughs> worthy of a uh, worthy of a, co uh, a compensation prize, so to speak, consolation prize. That is okay. That was the the missing checkpoint. So I think yes, <laughs> we're good to finish and tip over my car. Five second penalty for what? It's over, dude. So they added a five second penalty onto my already abysmal time. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dudes. <laughs> Okay, well, exit. <laughs> By the way, driving in this in the manner depicted herein in real life is not recommended. Drive responsibly. Um, I would say that goes double for anything you see on my channel. <laughs> Do not attempt anything that you've seen um, from Spike. <laughs> um, let's see here. So, I think that's just about everything. Um, as far as the modes go, L multiplayer. Um, <laughs> Do you hear that little sound effect? They gave you a little uh, 56k sound there when you click uh, multiplayer. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything this game has to offer, I think. Apart from quick race, which I haven't done yet, which I assume just throws you into into something. Uh, let's see. Can I have the the red bus? Oh, there's the... Um, no, I'm looking for the, the double-decker. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the groovy. Oh, dude. I can't have the hippie double-decker yet. But what I'll do is I'll just see what Quick Race does. I assume it just throws you into a random bit. Yes, I think it's throwing me straight back into Gimme Soma. So that's uh, that's something. Oh, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> I don't think I want to play Gimme Soma again. Especially not... Not on this car. Going to Chelsea. Who knows? Maybe the uh, double-decker bus has uh, 
a bit more than we uh, anticipate. <laughs> Look at these guys turn into white blobs in the, in the fog there. That is nuts. <laughs> it's an effect, you know, what can you say? They, they tried to uh, replicate fog and they <laughs> they did something. Shark bite is the advert. <laughs> this fucking car has had its day, dude. Look at the state of this thing. I've barely hit anything yet. Okay, this is a lost course. <laughs> oh man. Well, we had some fun, <laughs> but we we did not um, we did not become the king of Midtown Madness Two. Safe to say. I wonder if the first game is easier. It's possible. Hmm. Then again, I don't know. <laughs> when we're talking about games this old, there may not be much to it. It may just be a case of, you know, having the skills to overcome um, early 3D jank, if you will. For instance, um, there's some games that I play pretty well um, that, you know, they're like, yeah, you, you kind of... Um, they're hard, yeah, and you develop kind of a, a sixth sense for how to play them as well. Like an example that comes to mind, uh, platformer, is uh, Croc Legend of the Gobbos, which lots of people play for the first time and they can't fucking do anything because it's tank control, essentially. And like, I can play it really well because I played it when I was like seven years old and I figured out how to platform via tank control. Same thing with like Jumping Flash and stuff like that, where it's a specific kind of control that is unique to a certain time. And um, <laughs> this is kind of that, you know, this is like keyboard controls maps um, to a driving game because it's a PC game. And what this has over console games at the time, I think, is like a lack of loading speed and sort of you can actually control how much traffic there is and stuff like that. Like there's cool stuff here for sure. But like, yeah, diving into it in 2021 is a bit, it's a bit tough. <laughs> but it's been a fun time. So um, I think I'm just about going to call it there. We're going to play Initial D tomorrow, which might be a bit more fun. I have played that one before. It's um, a sort of classic Sega racer sort of deal. And um, the advantage there is it's kind of a tried and true control method. We can't really go too wrong with it. Uh, but yes, let's jump back to the storeroom and uh, discuss what we're doing in the rest of this week. Thank you, <laughs> Midtown Madness 2. Not bad. Worth a try, I would say. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Let's see, what was that, um, what was that you said there? Never gonna give you up. Let me just bring my chat back up quickly. Ta -da. Yeah, yeah, o older games, dude. It's just, um, they didn't think people would use a controller. Like, it's kind of an afterthought. Um, it's just like, you know, we expect everybody to be using mouse and keyboard, but, um, you know, that we'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the option there just to be sure. And they did. They put an option there, but it was, it's all kind of digital, as I mentioned before. It's not, it doesn't compare with a DualShock controller. It doesn't compare with a Negcon. It just feels kind of weird. <laughs> And if I had to pinpoint one thing, it's the drifting and the brake for sure. Like that shit is just so trigger sensitive, you know? And um, yeah, I was clipping so many corners and stuff like that, but it's fine, you know? <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I can only really judge the game by the standards at the time. And um, lots of people still enjoy these, these games because like I said, I think they had experience playing them back in the day. I had a little bit, I think I played the demo version of the first one, but just like, twice maybe like not many times and um, I remember playing it on a keyboard and you probably can do better on a keyboard but like I tried it before this I did give it a, a go just to see you know see if it was worth it and um, I found even on a keyboard like I preferred the controller so I went with that and uh, that's basically it <laughs> but um, yeah tomorrow is initial D and the day after that is crazy taxi so these should, um, there shouldn't be much grinding involved. Um, I said that about this game, but there was a little bit of grinding because lesson mode was a little tougher than I thought. But um, <laughs> for that, 
Um, for those two, I think it'll be a fun sort of um, quick run through. Initial D, I think it'll just be doing the story mode, just doing driver after driver, um, just going through. And I don't think it's very long. I think the first stage of the three that came out, um, of the Sega series anyway, um, just has about eight races or something like that. And um, yeah, um, Crazy Taxi, um, I'm pretty good at. And I think I'll just have a fun stream. It'll just be like, it'll just be like uh, having a beer for me, you know, easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody who supported me over the past week because um, I've seen lots of really good feedback and um, just really like just really helpful shit and just been great having you guys um, ar along for the ride. Um, it's been just really funny. Like <laughs> I don't know what the hell I expected, but I just like I'm getting absolutely schooled by these old games, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Because that's uh, that's what this is all about. It's about the struggle. <laughs> As I said, I think I said that last week. It's about watching, <laughs> watching somebody <laughs> fucking eat shit over and over and over, but eventually overcome it. And I will overcome things eventually. But I also don't want to waste all your time. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Thank you guys so much. It's been it's been great. And um, yeah, I hope to have more fun as we go. I'm gonna play a few more things that are a bit easier and a bit well, a bit easier for me, I should say, and a bit more chill. Um, but I like to try new things as well. Like this one, I'd never played before, and it kicked my ass. But there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of the that's part of the experience. <laughs> but no, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, never gonna give you up. And everybody that popped in and said said hello and just uh, joins me in the back seat here for another fucking terrifying journey into vi the video games of 2000 <laughs> as they were and um, yeah I will see you again tomorrow at 7pm um, that's London time of course and uh, we'll be doing it all over again and we'll be playing Initial D First Stage from Sega and hopefully we'll have a nice time and uh, yeah that about covers it thank you so much for the plot. Thank you for last week, thank you for this week, thank you for the future. You guys are fucking great, and I will see you again. Farewell! Thank you.